Airports are often just a place where you wait for your flight, but some of them are something else entirely. Take Singapore's Changi, Morocco's Marrakech Manara, or Zayed International in the UAE. These airports are not just transportation hubs, they're architectural gems. You could easily spend an entire day exploring what these airports have to offer, but here's something that might surprise you. None of the top 20 airports in the world are in the United States. That's right. While the US is the birthplace of aviation and home to the world, world's oldest major airport, it hasn't exactly been a leader when it comes to airport design. But things are starting to change, and a recent project in Portland, Oregon is a prime example of what's possible when modern architecture meets sustainability. The biggest city in Oregon is Portland, which is known for its quirky vibe and beautiful scenery. A phrase that doesn't belong to the city is, keep Portland weird, and believe me, the city lives up to its name. It has lots of coffee shops, interesting small businesses, and beautiful parks. You have to get there first though, before you can enjoy it all. That means going through PDX, which stands for Portland International Airport. PDX used to be like many US airports. It worked, but it really needed a makeover. The first terminal opened in 1956, and over the years it has grown into a huge complex with 11 different buildings. All of these buildings were put together over time, and each one has its own style and building rules. It was hard to update and modernize important systems like security checkpoints because the areas were jumbled. So, after years of discussions, the decision was made, PDX would get a $2 billion renovation. Now, you might be thinking, that's a lot of money, and it is. But trust me, by the time we're done here, you might just want to book a flight to Portland to check out the new terminal. It's not just a renovation, it's a groundbreaking project that's putting PDX on the map as one of the most beautiful airports in the world. This new terminal, which opened earlier this year, is the largest public works project in Oregon's history. What's even more impressive is that it's the largest mass timber project of its kind anywhere in the world. The design team, led by ZGF Architects and the Port of Portland, wanted to make sure the new terminal didn't just blend in with other airports. They wanted it to reflect the unique natural beauty of Oregon. So, how did they do it? Well, the architects took inspiration from the surrounding Pacific Northwest forests. The terminal's design is meant to feel like a walk in the park. They brought the outdoors indoors, incorporating large trees and plant life throughout the building. The ceiling, which spans nine acres, is made of 600,000 board feet of Douglas fir timber sourced from forests within 300 miles of the airport. This wasn't just about aesthetics, though. The team had sustainability in mind from the very start. The materials were chosen not only for their beauty, but also for their environmental impact. The focus was on using local timber to reduce the carbon footprint, and the design incorporates biophilic elements, things like plants and natural light, to make the space more calming. Studies have shown that being in natural spaces can reduce stress and lower blood pressure, which is exactly what travelers need when they're rushing to catch a flight. You might not expect to find an airport that feels like a forest retreat, but that's what Portland is going for. The new terminal features over 5,000 plants, including mature trees like black walnuts and olives. And with 49 skylights strategically placed throughout the space, natural sunlight pours in, making it feel like you're outside even when you're inside. Building such a massive structure wasn't without its challenges. For three years, the airport remained open while the renovation was taking place. This meant that the construction team had to work around 500 daily flights and all the operations of a busy airport. They had to be clever about how they approached the renovation. For example, ticketing and security were temporarily moved to the front and sides of the building so they could tear down the back sections and rebuild them. But the real challenge came with the roof. This wasn't just any roof. The team decided to build a massive wooden roof made of timber beams and mass timber panels. These sections were pre-constructed off-site and then moved into place, while the airport was still in operation. Each roof section weighed between 270,000 and 635,000 kilograms, and the largest section measured over 40 by 60 meters. Getting the roof into place was no small feat. The sections had to be carefully transported across an active taxiway, moving at a speed of just one mile per hour. It took three nights to move each section, one night to bring it to the starting position, a second night to move it halfway, and a third night to get it into its final spot. Once in place, the roof was tied in to the existing structure, and the new security features could be moved in, 
But that's not the end of the story. Experts say there is a 37% chance of a big earthquake in the next 50 years since Portland is in an area that is prone to earthquakes. This meant that the roof had to be built to resist these forces. Engineers used Y columns with base isolators to allow the roof to move during an earthquake. This allows the roof to slide up to 56 centimeters, keeping it secure during big earthquakes. What does this all mean for the Portland International Airport? In the future years, its capacity will double. By 2045, it should handle 35 million passengers. The new terminal is more than just a lovely look. It has a lot more to offer. It shows how to be environmentally friendly and creative, and it shows how airports in the U.S. will be designed in the future. You may remember the famous PDX carpet from your last trip to Portland. Everyone loves this airport landmark, and it's not going anywhere. Recreated carpet parts are spread around the new terminal, so you can still take the ideal photo, but the repairs aren't done yet. The second part of the project is already going on, and it includes even more improvements, like new shops, bars, escalators, and comfortable places to wait. The plan is to finish everything by the end of 2025. Will Portland International Airport ascend to the status of one of the world's premier airports? Time will tell. There is one thing that is certain, though. It's a stunning example of what can be done when innovation, sustainability, and cutting-edge design come together. It's more than simply an airport. It's a declaration of the future of American aviation. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible transformation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more fascinating stories like this one.